Right, smell the towel and make out you're a monkey. <laughs> no, that's not you're, you're, very, you're very pretty, girls. We're, we're going to open up our own restaurant. <laughs> yeah, we don't serve food. We just hang around in a hot tub and go, ah, sink the duck, sink the duck. <laughs> isn't, isn't this great, John? Oh, this is a lot Standing, of... I want to tell you something as a friend, really. Yes. With these two lovely Japanese girls, you made a fool of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> could, I, could I do it a couple of minutes? No! No! no. no. Just no, give me a but... break. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles? Okay, it's not a Jewish holiday. We can sit. <laughs> okay, you want to go to the beach? Sure. What a night. God, John, it's so good to see you. Night. Usually you say good evening, but I guess tonight you're a little well, tight because you. you're working with a name. <laughs> but, uh, it's so good, and God bless Ed. I've Thank heard you. so much. Thank Let's you. hope this sticks. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Ed, I'm running out of gifts. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Newhart and I, we keep running over going, does he love her? Does he love her? <laughs> and usually you're back in the chapel going, hey, what time's your wedding? <laughs> did he, did he, did you know before he did this that he was there? No, I read it in the paper in Iowa. Uh, You've never been in Iowa in your life. You can bet your... <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never been in Iowa, but I read about it. You didn't, you usually call us and tell us. You don't tell him because he gets a breakdown. But, uh... <laughs> You, uh, you, you have been a guy that's traveled a lot and have gone through a great deal in life. And I wish you and your wife a lot of happiness. Thank I figure you. a week tops. <laughs> tops. You have no problem because you get moody and just walk away. No, I don't. Anyway, uh... No, I, I saw your lovely wife, Alex, in Pittsburgh. That's, I was in she Pittsburgh. told me you were back to you. You see, were... you talk about marriage as a guy in your band. How long have you had that? Well, I just started... Get on the Jerry Lewis telethon. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> she said you she, were back... Let she, me get something. Let me get something. Well, in, jump in. We? You're the host. You're yeah. acting so secure since you're leaving, for well, crying out loud. And the other guy's at home working on his chin. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you. Well, all right, I'll tell you. 
No, and I tell you, I can use a good crowd, you know. I mean, help me forget Las Vegas. I'm going broke over there. I mean, Vegas, you've got to go broke. they got slot machines all over, even in supermarkets. I bought a dozen eggs, cost me $442. <laughs> I tell you, I'm never lucky at gambling, you know. I was in a game show. I won a 20-day cruise in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> I tell you, with me, nothing works out, you know. I'm still heavy. I can't lose any weight. Now, last week, I went nuts. I tried the rice diet. Between meals, kept folding my shirts. <laughs> I don't know. And my doctor, he don't help either. He told me to run five miles a day for two weeks. I called him up. I said, Doc, I'm 70 miles from my house. <laughs> what a doctor. Oh, one time I saw him, he gave me sleeping pills. He told me to take them whenever I wake up. <laughs> and I saw my dentist, too, another beauty. I said to him, Doc, look at my teeth. They're all getting yellow. He told me to wear a brown necktie. <laughs> I tell you, I meet the wrong people. That's my trouble. Like last week, I met the Surgeon General. He offered me a cigarette. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I tell you, I tell you, last week was a rough week for me last week. I saw my kid and a milkman going to a father and son dinner. I tell you, my own house, I can't relax. I got no sex life. Oh, ten years ago, my wife put me on hold. What a sex life. With a dog, he's watching me in a bedroom, wants to learn how to beg. And my dog, that's another one. He taught my wife to roll over and play dead. I tell you, I never had any luck with animals either, you know. When I was a kid in my sandbox, the cat kept covering me up. <laughs> and I tell you, when I was a kid, I got no respect at all, you know. They always made me take the family picture. And that way I wouldn't be in it. <laughs> my old man, he didn't help either, kept taking me to the zoo. He said he was hoping my real parents would claim me. It's the same thing today. I don't get no respect from anyone. Well, Carl Morton stole my traveler's checks. <laughs> I tell you, I can't take it no more. I find out they want to use my family, make a sequel to Roots. They want to call it Fertilizer. <laughs> As I said, this is his first time, so make him feel well. Would you welcome Gary Shannon? Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's very nice. I'm so excited to be here. I uh, had a great day. I went to the bank uh, earlier today. And uh, have you gotten your free pen yet? These are free. I, uh, you just yank these things and they pop right out. And uh, I got a desk calendar, too. Uh, you need a screwdriver to change the numbers, but they're free. And uh, then I went to the laundromat today because they have free clothes uh, at the laundromat. And, uh, picked up a few things and uh, I love going to the laundromat because you see people wearing the last thing they want to wear. Have you ever noticed that? People are wearing Bermuda shorts and a Nehru jacket and uh, I just don't want to see that. Then I had dinner tonight at a little restaurant. You know when you go in a place and they say sit down, we're going to call you when your table's ready and you sit down and you listen for your name over some cheap speaker, you know, and you never hear your name. What you hear is, so, party you two? So. <laughs> is that us? Is that us? Uh, you go ask him, honey. You look stupid. You go up there and find him. Uh, I'd feel funny, honey, but you're dressed for it. Go on up there. What they should do is just describe the people, see? Then we'd know who they're talking about. They could just go, the couple with the ugly children. Your table's ready. <laughs> And we know it's these people over here. We're so sorry. Uh, you want to cover those kids up? We're going to try to eat here. Thank you very much. Is that a nuclear accident or what? My God. <laughs> I ate dinner last night at a friend of mine's house, and uh, he has, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, baby. He has a baby. And uh, 
<laughs> I'm a single guy. I don't know how to relate to this too well, you know. And uh, the baby's crawling around on the carpet, and this baby uh, loads up his diaper, you know. And uh, I'm sitting there, you know, and the mother comes over and says, Isn't that adorable? Brandon made a gift for Daddy. <laughs> now, I'm figuring this guy's got to be real easy to shop for on Father's Day. <laughs> to get this guy, you know what I mean? Go ahead, Frank, open it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. I made it myself, Frank, and uh, I hope you'll... <laughs> I, I don't have any uh, babies. I have two dogs uh, from a previous marriage. I have, uh, I have a sheepdog and I have an Irish setter. I got to tell you about my dogs, okay? My, my sheepdog kicks when he sleeps, okay? Now, my friend said that means your dog's having a nightmare. Now, what's a nightmare for a dog? Did you ever stop to think about it? What, he's drinking out of the toilet and the lid falls? <laughs> That's about it for a dog, you know? I mean, uh, I had that one once myself and woke up screaming. <laughs> but I didn't kick in my sleep. The other, the other dog is this uh, Irish Setter, and uh, Irish Setters are too hyper and inbred, like my cousin Stuart. And uh, <laughs> what happens when it thunders, she digs up the carpet to get underneath the carpet to get away from the thunder. And the vet gave me these animal tranquilizers to give her. You know, they're doggy downers or something. I, I don't know what they are, but they tasted uh, real minty and they were hard to swallow. <laughs> She still goes under the carpet, but I go with her now. And, uh, <laughs> we have a great time. I can't wait for it to rain now. Now, <laughs> my dad, I used to go camping with my dad, and he's such a wonderful guy. He's older than me, and uh, he, uh, but he's gross. Is your dad gross? I mean, uh, <laughs> my dad comes to the breakfast table like this. What's for breakfast? <laughs> Come on, Dad, we're trying to eat here, huh? Want to put a robe on or something? Just, uh... You're grossing out the cat, Dad, all right? Put a sheet on or something. <laughs> then he'll unbutton his pants after he eats. All dads do this. They unbutton their pants and then he'll unzip his fly and then you can judge how good the meal is by how far down his zipper is, you know? And one time he stood up and his pants fell to the ground, you know, and we were at a restaurant and uh, all the other fathers turned and said, wow, what is he eating? 